Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello student. How are you? Hope you are enjoying yourself at all. This is Mr. Owolabi, MA, Basic Technology Teacher for GSS3. So I welcome every one of you to the e-learning class organized by the management of CTY Model College Ibadan. So inshallah, this week we are going to look at the revision of Meta Work and Tools. So before going to the topics, let's first introduce the the work the meta work and tools. So when we say one meta work and tools, so a number of group of tools are required to make meta products. So the classes of meta tools include so we have marking out tools, measuring tools, cutting tools, and driving tools. So inshallah, so we take this one by one. Although you have been taught in GSS one, but we are still going to revise all these uh, uh, tools. So how to differentiate between them and when you are asked to list out the example of marking out tools, the measuring tools, cutting tools and driving tools. So you will make the mistake of what? Of listing them out. So in our first period, inshallah, we look at the marking out tools. Marking out tools are made from a hardening steel so that they can scratch and punch into pieces of made steel. So they include surface plate and tables these are solid flat surface tools used for making out the baseline we also have an engineer engineer's square so this one we use this to draw lines perpendicular to an to an edge and also to check if the angle between two edges is a perfect right angle we also have scribers so the scribers is used to draw or stretch line on the surface of a piece of metal so it has one or two sharp tips. We also have surface gauge. When we say surface gauge, we have a scribing block. So this consists of a scriber mounted on an adjusti on an adjustable stand. So it is used to test the accuracy of plain surface. We have punches. These punches, we have a, the punches in mental works used as marking out tools. So two types of punches. We have two types used in mental work. The, the first one is the dot punch, while the second one is the center punch. The dot punch is used along with a hammer to make dot on scribed lines, which are likely to disappear. Why center punch? This is used to prepare the point to be drilled so that the drill can rest without, without cutting out of the point. Again, center punch. I said, when we say punch, punches, we have two types. The first one is the dot punch. Why the second one is the center punch? That dot punch is used along with armor to make dots on scribed lines, which are likely to disappear. And also we have center punch. This one is used to prepare the point to be drilled so that the drill can rest without cutting out of the point combination set this is another what another type of a uh, marking out tools we have combination set this is made up of steel rule which is usually 12 inches long and has a center head center head square head and a protector head any of this is fixed to the ruler to perform various marking out work Anyone that is that is needed at a particular time is now fixed into this ruler to what to mark out or to perform the various marking out tools. We also have engineers stainless protector. This instrument has graduation. What I mean by graduation that is it is calibrated from what is zero degree to one eighty degree. So it has plumb needle for determining the angle with reference to the vertical of its surface. That is a generic stainless protector. We also have a pair of divider. Divider are used as measuring and marking out tools. They, they are of different type tools. So uh, you can see the example of a uh, of is also is, is it resemble the uh, the divider inside your mathematical set. So we have different types too. We have odd leg caliper. So it has two legs one straight and the other bent. So it is used to draw line at set distance from the edges of the work pieces. We have trames. These are 
socket combined with the beam to make up a beam compass for marking large circles on melters. Spring divider. This is a double-pointed compass for scribing circles in the metal works. So let me go through the note. This is the end of the period one. So let me go through the note again. We said, inshallah, we are going to look at the marking out tools. When you are now asked to list the example of the marking out tools, we have surface plates and tables. We have engineer, engineer square, describer, surface gauge, punches. We have a combination set, engineer, engineers, stainless protector. We have a, a pair of divider uh, and uh, etc. So now, under the marking out tools that we made mention of the stainless plate and tablet, so they are solid, flat surface tools. So they are used for marking out the baseline. Now, why the engineering square? So these are used to draw line perpendicular to an angle and also to check if the angle between two edges is a perfect right angle. So that is the function of this engineering square. Describer. This scriber is used to draw a, a, stra a scratch line on the surface of a piece of melter. It has one or two sharp tips. That's what I mean by scriber. Service gauge. This consists of a scriber mounted on an adjustable stand. It is used to test the accuracy of a plane surface. That is the function. Why punches? These punches have two types. We said that we have the dot punch and the center punch. All of them, they are all examples of marking out tools. What is punches? The punches in meta are used as marking out tools. Two types of punches that we now use, that we use in meta, they are the dot punch. This one is used along with armor. To make to mark to make a dot on scribe lines which are likely to disappear. Center punch. This is used to prepare the point to be drilled so that the drill can rest without scattering out of the point. Combination set. This is made up of a steel rule, which is usually 12 inches along and has a centered edge square head and protector head so any of this is fixed to is fixed to the ruler to perform various marking out work now we have engineering stainless protector so this instrument has graduation that is from a zero degree to 180 degrees so it has a plumb needle for determining the angle with reference to the vertical of a surface we also have a pair of divider this divider are used as a measuring and marking out tools so we have we have two types. We have old and we have three types. We have old leg caliper, the trammers, and the spring divider. The old so the old leg caliper it has two legs, one straight and the other one is bent. So it is used to draw line at at set distance from the edge of the work. This is why trammers these are so, sockets combined with the beam or with the beam to make up a beam compass. For marking large circles on the melters. Why we have spring divider? This is double pointed compass for scribing circle in the metal works. All this, all the example mentioned above, they are all example of marking out tools. So, inshallah, next class, next period, we are going to discuss another type of a, a, a mental work and tools, which is what? Mayoring tools. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.